Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's preview as the Bulls take on the Cheetahs tomorrow um, afternoon in what will be a very, very interesting clash actually because it is the only side that has managed to beat the Bulls this season. And since then the Bulls have gone on to collect the Super Rugby Unlock whilst the Cheetahs have looked kind of not quite there at times. You know, they were <coughs> comprehensively beaten um, against uh, the Stormers in the Western Cape and the Bulls are now coming off a very, very big victory um, at New the first time in 11 years they actually did beat the Western Province there last weekend and are very much the favourites for Curry Cup. You know, they obviously got Super Rugby unlocked under their belt and now they're going for their second piece of silverware. The Jake Wild White Revolution is well and truly underway. But some very interesting decisions this weekend. A lot of players being rested, a lot of rotation, a couple of interesting calls. And so the Chiefs will have another opportunity to sort of try and, and build on the fact that they managed to beat the Bulls and get their season back on track, you know. We talked about the fact that um, the Chiefs have a lot to prove in terms of um, trying to prove to SA Rugby that they were unfairly shunted from Pro 16 and, you know, going and beating the Bulls is a very, very big statement, a very good way of trying to make that point itself. Before we look at the teams, please do subscribe to the channel, bottom right hand corner there. <clears throat> Smash the like as well, jump in the comments. I want to know some score predictions, I'll tell you mine as soon as we go through the teams itself. But we'll start by looking at the Bulls side, which has had a lot of rotation, some forced some not. First of all, um, no Jacques Renaud and he has copped a one-match ban after receiving a red card for his tackle on Warwick Holland last weekend. A bit of a rough one, I think. I think a yellow card would have been um, a bit more fair. Um, but, you know, it does a, a, a red card does usually carry a match ban and that is what has happened. As a result, Gerard Steenkamp comes in to the side. Jan Kobler will start again. Marcel van der Merwe starts as well. And this is where a lot of the rotation comes in. Sintu Manjezi is in for Ruan Nokia. But the loose chair remains the same. But in the back line, Ambrose Papier comes in for um, Ivan van Zale. Interesting enough, Mornay Stein comes straight back into the starting lineup, which is a little bit harsh, I think, because Chris Smith was very, very good last weekend and proved a lot of people wrong and proved to be a very good deputy for, for Mornay Stein and a very capable fly half. Capable fly half. And yeah, but he man, he gets dropped. Obviously, Mornay Stein was just, you know, such a, so, so much on form and so important to the Bulls' game plan. And I suppose with a couple of changes and stuff like that, it is a good, probably a good thing for him to come in and steady that ship with Ambrose Papier playing with Marco Jansen van Furen, who is starting um, at an 11 in place of Travis Ishmael. David Creel will then be starting on the wing, as you see, then Kurtley Orensa has moved to full back, which is very, very interesting to think that they've gone that way around. Um, as opposed to just switching Kurdi Arendtse from in terms of the wings. Cornel Hendricks, Stephen Hans, that is fairly standard on the bench. Trevor Nyukani gets a rest. That's why Marcel van der Merwe is starting. Uh, Marius Porchita comes onto the bench. Chris Smith, Ivan van Zell, Nizam Kar, Ruan Nokia. I mean, it's such a good bench. So I'm sure the Bulls' game plan, especially at home, will be to weather the storm, try and get on the front foot, and then in the second half, just bring in the reinforcements and really go and take on the cheaters. Because when, when you think that they're going to bring on you know, Trevor Nikani, Ruan Nokia, Nizam Kar, Ivan van Zell, Chris Smith. That's a very, very good bench to empty late on in the game. In terms of the Cheetahs side, it's a fairly settled side. No Junior Pocomela at the moment, which is a big absentee. In result, Victor Sikakete gets a chance. Uh, Kutum Chuno also gets a start there. Ian Grunewald comes in. Carl, your partner, Carl Bacher. And Decent Sila and Jean de Rudolph have been fantastic all season. And they'll be very, very important in terms of trying to front up against a very physical bull side. Um, and then we've got Tian Man, Tian Skuman, they have performed a very good combination. Roscoe Speckman, we know how dangerous he is. France Dan will partner Howard and Nisi. Rena Smith comes in the wing. Clayton Blomikis will be very dangerous from deep. So it's a it's a, it's a solid cheater side. I mean on the balance of play, I think with the, with, with the, especially given the fact that bulls are resting some players, there's definitely an opportunity for the cheaters to try and make the early stages of the game count and you know try and put themselves in a position where they can just try and sort of weather the storm when the Bulls empty that very very strong bench but if you look at that side you know France Dame will always cause problems Tian Skuman when he kicks well when he plays well he can be very very good and this and this Sensile versus Marco van Staden will be the battle to watch in my opinion probably the top playing number sixes in the country at the moment and possibly vying for a potential Springbok call up next year so yeah, that's going to be a very, very good battle. I'm very excited to see what happens between those two. Um, jean Ray Rudolph versus James Vermeule will also be a very good battle. Um, so it should be a very good clash. And Willis Moore Smith coming off the bench is a nice option as well. It's going to be a... I mean, in theory, the Bulls should dominate. And I'm actually going to go Bulls by seven. Um, which is which is probably giving Peters quite a lot of credit. Because I think that they can get after the, the Bulls um, side. 
But yeah, you know, I think it's, it, could, it could be quite a close game, maybe a lot closer than we than we probably thought, but uh, well, that, that we probably might have thought a couple of, of weeks ago uh, before the Cheetahs went on and, and beat the Bulls. But I think for that reason, they will have a lot of confidence and they will think that, listen, we can actually go after the Bulls. We did it once. What's to say we can't? go and do it again but i'm going to go bulls by seven let me know what your predictions are in the comments below we will be doing reactions over the weekend they might be a bit late i'm doing a bit of traveling so unfortunately no live watch along this was the game i was trying to target to do a live watch along on saturday but unfortunately because of traveling and stuff like that i won't be able to do that we will be back live next weekend with watch longs it was so much fun last weekend so earmark next weekend for the return of the live watch along thank you very much for watching and i'll chat to you very very soon Oh, 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 oh,